hello guys hope you're doing extremely well welcome to my another video so in this video i'm going to tell you all the questions which were asked to me during the aws cloud support engineer interview technical round so my first technical round was on networking and there were many networking questions asked to me from basics to a little advanced level so uh, let's get right into it so guys before starting this video i would like to tell you that you can take out your notebook and pens and start noting down these questions because there is a very high chance that these same questions are gonna come in your interview as well so make sure you study all these questions very thoroughly in detail and be prepared for the interview thank you and let's start the video now so in this uh, technical round the first question asked to me was what happens in the back end when you type amazon.com in the browser so here i had to explain the dns process which takes place when we type an, a domain name on the browser and how it resolves and uh, gets the ip address uh, to your browser and how the page loads basically and next question was explain different types of dns queries third question was what are iterative and recursive queries this question is also related to dns and you can look up on that fourth question was after the browser gets the ip address from the uh, dns service what happens and how it basically loads the page what all protocols take place in that and how do you get the web page on your uh, laptop screen or the browser the next question the fifth question was explain uh, tcp three-way handshake the next question was also based on tcp handshake and it was how does a sequence number how a sequence number works in tcp handshake so what is the role of a sequence number in that and how does it work next question was what is https and how it is different from http next question was what is ssl or tls handshake so the next question was uh, suppose you have uh, suppose you have hosted your website and uh, while accessing the website there are too many redirects happening so what would cause this next question was suppose your website is loading very slowly then how would you troubleshoot it what could be the issue next question was uh, explain the process of cdn what is a cdn how it works and how it makes sure that the website loading becomes faster next question was uh, they asked me to screen share and uh, type the trace root command to the amazon.com website and then they asked me to explain all the fields which were coming up on after giving that command and uh, i had to explain that in detail the next question was explain uh, what protocol is used in trace root command and in ping command which is same for both which is icmp protocol next question was uh, if a website is loading very slowly is there anything we can check from the browser side next question was suppose there is a server and it is not using any cdns is there any way to still make the content delivery faster next question was uh, suppose your laptop is in a private network is there still any way to for the laptop to pro uh, connect to the internet so in this uh, basically they're asking nat process you have network address translation so you can explain that here question was based on this itself explain the types of nat the next question was uh, how can one server one single server uh, serve requests for two different domains concept is called sni next question was suppose my laptop is connected to some uh, network currently when i'm at home and it has some ip but when i go to my office and connect to the network again it has a different ip so how does this process work and uh, explain that process in detail the dhcp process which is dynamic host uh, configuration protocol it uses a broadcast based steps which are the dora step dora process so there are four steps in it d stands for discover o stands for offer r stands for request and a stands for acknowledge next question was can you explain how do machines in a switch network communicate with each other and which protocol is used here next question was can you explain uh, difference between static web content and dynamic web content 
So next question was suppose I have multiple servers serving requests to the clients. How do I make sure that one server doesn't get overloaded with all the requests? So what process comes here? What will uh, you do? So here they, basically they are looking for the load balancer concept and you can explain that in detail here. Next question is suppose I have created a DNS record but it is not resolving correctly. What issues could be there and how to resolve it? Uh, second last question was how ARP works and my last question was a behavioral type of question where they asked me to explain a, a situation in my work current work where I had to dive deep to solve a problem so yeah that's all the questions which were asked to me uh, hope you find found it useful uh, please subscribe to the channel from last video I've increased my subscriber count from 0 to 10 which is great and thank you for all the support and uh, like the video and i'll see you in next one please comment like and share with your friends and all the best if you are going to give this interview soon so hope you crack it thanks bye